So today we're going to do something around the theme of grounding. We're also going to combine that with deep rest as well. Um, and I said in my email that went out at the weekend that I've just been teaching in real life rather than on Zoom. And it just became apparent to me that, you know, when I meet people, that everybody's feeling a little bit shaky and insecure at the moment because of the kind of energy that's going on in the world. And the antidote to that is to ground, which means to come into our body. And in terms of yoga theory um, or yoga philosophy, that means working around our base chakras. So if you're interested in the chakra, this is the kind of movement we're doing around Muladhara chakra, which is gives us this sense of I am here, I'm in my body, and I am safe. So everything we're going to be doing is working on that. Um, and I'm just going to read you something out from my notes before we start. So the human body, we can think of the human body as being a sacred space. And our practice is like a prayer to this idea. And if that's not for you, that's also fine. And um, Muladhara Chakra, the base of the spine is our foundation and it's very important and we talk in Muladhara chakra about having faith because when we have faith in life that things are going to be okay this opposes fear so Muladhara chakra gives us stability and brings up energy from the earth if prana or our energy is weak in this chakra we may have fear and we may be disassociated from our body and this may come out in symptoms like being anxious, not feeling stable, not feeling present. So everything that we're doing this morning is to help with that. And I'm just going to put the mantra in the chat box so that you can see it. So we're going to be doing a chant to the earth. And as always, if you don't want to chant, then this is a choice. But I just wanted to give that to you. Um, so that, you know, often when you see something, it helps you to think about what the chant is. So the chant is pretty V, pretty V meaning the earth. So with all that said, it's enough of me talking now. Please come into a comfortable sitting position. And if you need to lie, that's absolutely fine as well. And if it's comfortable for you, close your eyes. And then take a moment or two just to observe how you are feeling. So I'm going to ask this question since this is about earthing and grounding. So the question is, am I in my body? And if you're not, that's absolutely fine because what we're doing hopefully today will help you to feel more connected. So this is just a reflective question. And then you might observe if you're not in your body, what is it that's taking you away? Is it a sense of the mind going quite fast? Is it a sense of fear? All this is fine. And then just observe the mind, observe the body, observe the emotions. And then if you are sitting, just have a sense of the connection that your feet are making with the earth. And if you're lying, think about the soles of the feet if your knees are bent or the back of your heels if they're straight on the earth so even if you're on a sofa or a bed or you're on carpet just imagine the earth underneath you and you might like to imagine roots going down into the earth from the feet and these are silver roots and as you inhale you're going to have a sense of breathing in energy and nourishment up into the soles of the feet and into the body. And as you exhale, you're breathing out down through the roots.
And also have a sense of the connection with your bottom, your hips. So this is all the hips and the feet are connected with the Muladhara chakra. And this chakra is also about nourishment. So as you inhale, visualize breathing up nourishment, up through the feet, up into the body. And as you exhale, feel that you're letting go out, down, through the feet, down, through these silver roots, and the earth is taking away anything you no longer want to hold on to. And then if you like, we're going to do a chant. We'll do this as call and response. So I'm going to suggest that you hold around the base of the spine. If you don't want to do this, you can just imagine it. And I'm going to chant to you and then you chant back to me. So this is as call and response. So I'm going to chant Om Pretty V Namaha. And that means I'm not separate from the earth. Um, and remember, I put the chant into the chat box if you need to see it. But otherwise, just listen to me. Om Priti Vinamaha. Now you. Om Priti Vinamaha. Om Priti Vinamaha. And then when you're ready, rest your hands on your knees. And then become aware of the breathing, the breathing rhythm. Observing the difference between the inhalation and the exhalation. And just allowing the breath to slow down a little. And then if you can, just allow the out breath to be slightly longer than the in breath. And if you can, breathe through the nose. And if you can't do either of those things, that's fine too, there's nothing that's wrong. Everything is just as it is. The most important thing is not to strain the breath. And then again, drop your awareness into your hips or your bottom and just explore the texture there and the sensation underneath you. And then again, bring your awareness to your feet and observe any texture there. Feeling what's under your feet or around your feet if you're wearing socks. Just exploring any vibration, any sense there. And if you can't keep your mind there for now, that's fine. And then we're going to just explore a little bit of movement. So what we're going to do, we're going to do something called Krama which means that we're moving in parts with the out breath. So this is something on the course I've just done, which is very good to introduce a feeling of lightness and energy into the body. So, and as always, if you don't want to move, you can just visualize this. So I'll just explain, you might like to look at your screen for this, but if not, my voice hopefully will guide you. So I'm going to take it in breath and just lift my arms up to wherever is comfortable. And then I'm going to exhale a little bit and pause. And then I'm going to exhale again and drop my hands all the way down. So I'll do that once more just to show you. So inhale, the arms lift up. Exhale halfway and pause. 
exhale all the way and pause. So when you're ready, do that three to five times in your own breathing rhythm, just allowing the breath to be slow and smooth, particularly the out breath. Exhale, pause, exhale all the way. Your breathing rhythm might be different from mine. So you just do that a few times. Don't get tired and please keep the shoulders soft. Keep the jaw soft. Everything should be relaxed. Make this the last one you're doing, and then again, rest with the hands on the knees. And then I'd like you to bring to mind either an image of a mountain or of a tree. And visualize this image as you, so that you feel like you are a mountain or a tree that you are really rooted down into the earth but also the head is lifting up towards the sky like the top of the tree or the mountain so there's space between the crown of the head and the tailbone if the mind wanders bring it back to the pause after the exhalation And then we're going to do one more optional movement with the breath before we come down to lie. So I shall just demonstrate if you want to look at your screen. Otherwise, you can just listen to my voice. So I'm going to have my hands together in prayer at my heart. I'm going to breathe in and circle my arms up to prayer above my head. And then I'm going to hum the breath, down, hum the breath as I bring the hands back to the heart on the out breath. Mm. So inhaling the hands above the head to prayer. Mm. So just a few times in your own breathing rhythm, remembering humming increases nitric oxide, helps with our immunity, and also helps with a nice, long, smooth exhalation. So just a few times without getting tired in your own breathing rhythm, your own pitch. When you've finished, you can just rest your hands on your knees. I always think it's interesting because our mind likes the science of what and why we're doing something, which is why I explain that nitric oxide, which is very beneficial for us, increases when we hum. Then in terms of yoga, everything is about energy and how we work with energy. And humming increases the effect of apana. So that's the energy of letting go. So again, become aware of the breath and have this sense of letting go through the feet on the exhalation. And then when you're ready, please come down to a comfortable lying position. And again, if you want to remain sitting, that's fine. If you want to lie on a sofa or a bed, that's also fine. Usually in yoga, we would start on our backs with the knees bent before we lengthen out the legs. But if you want to vary that, that's fine.
So perhaps have something under your head to help the back of the neck to lengthen. And if the knees are bent, think about having them hip width apart. And why we start with the knees bent, it's just to help the back to relax before we move. And if you're particularly fatigued today, it's fine if you need to bring the knees together. And take a moment or two to just experiment with where you want the arms. So classically in yoga, they're away from the body with space under the armpit. But if you feel more secure, you might like to turn the palms downwards or even rest them on the belly. So just explore how that works best for you. And again, think about your connection to the earth. So really have a sense that Pretty V, the earth, is supporting you. And you might like to imagine that next to you is a hole. And you can put any thoughts or worries into this hole. And the hole is taking them down, down, down. And Mother Earth is taking them away for you for you you can pick them up if you want after the session but for now you can just release them and also you might like to imagine that from the tailbone is an umbilical cord which is connecting you to the earth under your support again bringing you nourishment on the in-breath and taking away anything you no longer want this energy of a partner on the out breath. And just become aware of the weight of your head. And if you like, you could just very gently roll the head from side to side to release the neck. Observe if this feels different on one side to the other, but make this observation with a sense of curiosity, not judgment. And then center the head. And just scan the body to see if anything could be made softer, maybe the jaw or the shoulders. And think of the spine as a plumb line dividing the body in half. And either side of the back is just really releasing around the spine. So on every exhalation, you are softening down towards the earth. And it might help to imagine that you are lying on damp, warm sand. And your body is making a comfortable indentation in the sand. And on every exhalation, the body is softening deeper and deeper into the sand. And then if you don't have back issues and if you like, you can stretch out one leg, then the other, have the feet comfortable distance apart. And again, just observe this connection of your heel with your support. And then we're going to take one hand to the heart, the other to the belly. And we're going to again do our humming, feeling as we breathe in, the hand on the belly slightly rising. So up to five breaths like this in your own breathing rhythm.
And when you've finished your humming, you might like to just cross the arms over the heart and give your shoulders a massage. And then massage around the jaw. Release the arms down. And again, take a moment or two just to observe how you are in this present moment with curiosity and acceptance. Just observing your present moment experience. Making a kind connection to your body if you're able to. Having a sense of safety. And you might like to imagine that you're placing a cloak around you, which can be any texture or colour. And this cloak is nourishing you and bringing you further safety. And then when you're ready, we're just going to begin to move the body very little. So if you like to bring one knee, then the other over the body and hold either around the knees or below the knees or under the knees. And then just rock out the body from side to side to soothe the body. And as you rock, just feel again that connection with your support. And then coming back to centre, we're going to just circle the knees. So if we can, we do this with the breath. But if that doesn't work, you just do the movement. So I'm going to guide you. So take an in-breath and let the knees float away from you as the knees straighten. If you need to look up, do so. And then let the knees drift wide apart. And then as you exhale, bring the knees in towards you and bring them together. So inhale, knees move away from you and apart. Exhaling, the knees come back together. So you're making a lovely circle. But as you do this, become aware of the lower back. So just feel that massage at the base of the spine. And observe as you do the movement, how the back moves. So as the knees move away from you, the, it's right down at the tip of the spine. As you come in towards you, the massage moves slightly in towards the mid spine. So just be aware of that massage. And then if you like, you can take the knees in the opposite direction. So you're circling the other way. And then pause with the knees over you. We're going to take an in breath. Knees float away from us, elbows straighten, and we're going to chant the knees into the belly. Pretty Vinamaha. Breathe in, elbows straighten, knees move away. Pretty Vinamaha. So just do that a few times in your own breathing rhythm, your own pitch. Remembering the chant means I am not separate from nature. I am one with Mother Earth. And as always, work kindly, just work or move in a way that is nourishing. If you need to rest out at any time, please do so.
And then when you are ready, drop the feet to the mat with your support with your knees still bent. Have the feet about hip width apart. And then take the arms out just below the shoulder level like a cross. Palms can be up or down. And again, just take a few moments to engage with your body and the sense of your body on your support. I've just seen haley has got a beautiful grey dog who looks a bit like my dog Nelly. So I hope Haley, your dog is enjoying the yoga as well. I do love seeing pets on the screen. And interestingly, I'll just add this, that when I was studying the chakras with my teacher, one thing that came up was that um, animals are very good for Muladhara, for the root chakra. And then when I was studying the science, which is to do the vagus nerve, and Dr. Stephen Levine, he said the same thing, that pets can help us to have good vagal tone. So I'm just adding that into the mix. So from where you are, just become aware of your breath again thinking about the difference between your inhale and your exhale. We're going to breathe in where we are. And as we exhale, we're going to take a slow move with the knees down towards the left. Keep the head centered for now. The knees might not come all the way down, but that's fine. Keep the shoulders engaged on your support. Take a breath in and center the knees. On your next out breath, slowly in time with the breath, take the knees over to the right. Again, they might not come all the way down, that's absolutely fine, but keep the shoulders aligned on the mat. Breathe in now, come back to the center. On your next out breath, let the knees come comfortably down to the left and just look over the right shoulder and then take some resting breaths here. Just rest in the twist, head and knees going over in opposite directions. And then when you're ready, if you would like, breathe in, center the head, center the knees. On your next out breath, the knees come over the opposite direction to the right, Head rolls to look over the left shoulder and take some resting breaths here. And then either rest in the twist or continue to move like that in your own breathing rhythm, inhaling to center the head and the knees, exhaling as the head and the knees go in the opposite direction. Or you might like to just rest in the twist. If the mind's wandered, bring it back to the feeling in the back and just observe your connection with your support. And then when you're ready, center your head, center your knees and just gently draw the knees into the chest, again, rocking out the spine from side to side. And then rest in your favorite relaxation position. Again, observe the connection of your feet and where your feet are touching 
the floor, maybe the back of the heels, soles of the feet. Imagine the ground of the earth, the earth under your support. So even if you're in a building, well, which you will be, but under that building is the earth. So feel the sense of the earth holding you safely. Just observe the effect of the practice. Mind, body, spirit, emotions, energy. Bringing a sense of non-resistance and acceptance to however you find yourself in this moment. And then we're going to do one more movement before we do our final relaxation. Again, this is optional, but if you'd like to do it, we're going to do a bridge posture, which is a very gentle back bend, which is very nice for not just increasing energy, but helping us again to feel grounded. So bend your knees, have your feet hip width apart. And if you have something under your head, please remove it. Think about the heels being in line with the buttocks and the hands next to the buttocks, the hips, palms down. And just see if you can lengthen through the back of the neck, so tucking the chin into the chest. And we're going to lift up the right foot and then we're gonna drop it down. And then we're going to lift up the left foot and then we're going to drop it down. And just do this a few times just to help increase the feeling of being on the earth and observing the texture under the soles of the feet. And then rest the feet and spread the toes and feel the connection and the support, the sensation under the palms might be your mat, it might be carpet or bed. Just be aware of that texture under the palms. Feel the weight of the head, feel the weight of the tailbone and the shoulders. And again, have that sense of the earth supporting you, nourishing you. Feel that you're in your body, if that's okay for you. And then when we're ready, we're going to breathe in and very gently lift the hips to come up onto the shoulder, keeping the back of the neck long and the knee stable. And then on an out breath, we're going to lower the spine down. So at the end of the out breath, the tailbone comes back down. And if that's enough for you, please rest out. Or if you would like, you can take yourself through that movement two or three times more. But please listen and be kind to your energy levels. So yes, when we're very fatigued, it's necessary to do a little bit of movement just to help boost our mitochondria or increase our prana. But if we do too much, that's counterproductive. So how we know what's right and not for us is listening in because all of us are different. And then when you finished, hug the knees into the chest, rock out the spine from side to side. And then get ready for the final relaxation. So this is a yoga nidra, which uses imagery to do with the earth. So, if you like, you might like to get blankets or eye masks, put on socks, have cushions under your head and your knees. I'm just going to give you a few moments to get ready.
So again, take some time to make a kind connection to your body. Imagining a cloak of safety and light on you. And imagine that you are surrounded by well-wishers, friends, relatives, beings who have wished you well throughout your life and that they are all sending you love. Feel that you're breathing out all of your tensions and that you are becoming very heavy. Become aware of the parts of the body which I name without moving them. Just feel the parts and follow my voice. Become aware of the right hand. Right hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, little finger, the whole right hand, the whole right arm, shoulder, right side of the chest, waist, hip, whole right leg, right foot, Big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all of the toes together. Now go to the left hand. Become aware of the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth, little finger, whole left hand, whole left arm, shoulder, left side of the chest waist, hip, whole left leg, left foot, toes, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth, little toe, all the toes together. Feel the two feet together, two legs together, buttocks, stomach, chest, back, two shoulder blades, two arms, neck, head, scalp, forehead, eyes, right ear, left ear, nose, right cheek, left cheek, mouth, lips, tongue, inside the mouth, sensation inside the mouth, chin, the whole face, the whole head, the whole neck, 
the whole back. The arms and the legs together. The whole body. The whole body. The whole body. Feel the contact between your body and the floor. Be aware of the back of your head where it touches your support. Back of your shoulders, back of your arms, buttocks, calf muscles, heels. Feel that you are breathing in a lovely transparent bubble. Every time you breathe in, the bubble gets bigger. Every time you breathe out, the bubble contracts. And count the number of breaths backwards from 10 to 1. If you lose a count, please go back to 10 and start again. Leave your counting and become aware of your heart in the middle of your chest. Imagine the air you are breathing in is a golden colour, bringing you energy and nourishment. The golden colour is like mist. And you are taking this golden healing mist into your body through the heart and spreading it about inside. Fill your body with this golden mist. Feel that every time you breathe in, you're cleaning out your whole body with this mist and it is bringing you many good qualities. Love, healing, safety, nourishment, peace and happiness. As you breathe out, all the things you don't want pass from your body. Now imagine that you are a seed that is planted in the soil. You're just resting on the soil and feel the soil underneath you. Imagine it started to rain and the earth below you is getting wet and damp, moist and cool. You start to put roots down into the soil. The sun now starts to shine and the earth begins to dry. You feel the energy and warmth of the sun. You send out a tiny shoot, reaching up, and at the same time, you are sending roots down into the earth for support and nourishment. You continue to grow up towards the light of the sun, and now you have bright green leaves. You drink water and nourishment through your roots and absorb sunlight through your leaves. These are your food and you produce life-giving oxygen 
for everyone in the world to breathe. Bring your awareness back to your body, back to how you are lying on your support. With your eyes still closed, just become familiar with your surroundings, the shape of your body, the feeling underneath you, and any sounds you can hear outside your space. Become aware of any sounds you can hear near to you. The sensation of your clothes touching your body. Any taste or smell you might be aware of. And the invitation now is to remain lying if you wish. Otherwise, just begin to gently move your fingers and your toes. Be aware of your mind being very peaceful and your body feeling very safe. And if you would like, you might like to begin to move other parts of your body like your legs, your arms. Taking as much time as you need. And then when you're ready, roll to one side and stay there for a moment or two. So just allow yourself time to wake up and come to taking as much time as you need. When you're ready, you might like to come up to a comfortable sitting position. So just have the eyes closed again from sitting for a moment or two. And again, bring in this quality, whatever works best for you. And if it doesn't work, that's fine. But either of a mountain or a tree. And think of this quality along your spine. So it's like you have the top half of your body raising up towards the sky and the bottom is grounded into the earth. Space between the tailbone and the crown of the head. maybe roots going down through your feet. Just take a moment or two to observe the effect of the practice on the whole being. Just have a sense of kindness and compassion that you bring in to your observation, however you find yourself. And then when you're ready, blink the eyes open Stamp the feet just to help to bring you into the present moment and just look around your space to the corners of the room, to your furniture, just feeling a sense of yourself in your space and in this present moment. If you like, you can do things to help bring you more here, like clapping your hands or calming your eyes, stamping your feet more, shaking, just helping to bring you back into your body. And then we're going to cross our arms and stroke down, cross our hands and stroke down our arms. And then tap onto our chest, this is all to help us feel more present in our body. 
and then drop the hands. We're going to close the practice by chanting together, Priti V Namaha, I'm not separate from the earth, I am part of nature, I'm part of all that is. So if you're able to, before we do chant, just think of this as true, that you are not separate from the world, that you are part of all that is, and that you deserve to be here, a place here too in nature. So whenever you feel, you know, maybe fearful or alone, just think of the nourishment that nature brings you and that you are nature. So we're going to start with our hands together on a heart. We're going to inhale, open the arms wide, and we're going to chant together. Priti vi namaha. Breathe in, open the arms wide. Priti vi namaha. Once more, inhale, open the arms wide. Priti vi namaha. Close your eyes just for a moment or two, feeling the effect of the mantra on the whole being. And again, feeling yourself rooted in the earth via your feet and your hips. Feeling yourself here and feeling a sense of safety with all our community here, the friendliness of everybody practicing in this virtual space together. Allowing the mind to be quiet. And then when you're ready, bring the palms of the hands together to the Namaste Mudra. And just take a bow to your heart, thanking yourself for taking the time to be here and to practice yoga and for being here together. Thank you all very much. Namaste. And I wish you all a safe and happy week. And I send you lots of love. And I look forward to seeing you whenever you can make it. So thank you, everybody. And take care. Have a good week.